Hey booktube, it's Charlie from Reader Turned Writer, and today I am sharing the books that I read in April. April was not the best reading month for me. I really wasn't in the mood to read, and I actually thought I wouldn't even hit my minimum of 10 books in a month. I did manage to reach 10 books with my audiobook and the read aloud that I was reading to my kids, and I did enjoy most of the books that I read, although I did DNF too. So I'll just jump right in and share in my bullet journal the books that I read in April and I will be sharing a one-line synopsis looking for the hook or what makes the book unique followed by one line reviewing the book and sharing what I thought. So the first book I read was a reread. I finished Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone by JK Rowling. I rated this five stars. I read this aloud with my five-year-old and she really enjoyed it. Harry Potter is a childhood favorite of mine that will always be dear to my heart and that I will always come back to reread. Next, I DNF Undercover Princess by Connie Glein. I got about a third of the way into it. I was pretty getting pretty bored. I went on to reviews to see if it improved by the end. It didn't really look like it got better, so I decided to leave it for now. And then I finished a book called Creating Character Arcs by K.M. Wyland, and I rated it four stars. In this book, Wyland outlines the three different kinds of character arcs. I did find it very useful, especially with flat character arcs and negative character arcs, which I did not know as much about. I also reread The Screw Tape Letters by C.S. Lewis for the rereadathon. I rated this five stars. I absolutely love The Screw Tape Letters. Next, I read Caroline, Little House Revisited by Sarah Miller. I rated this five stars. This book portrays the events that happen in Little House on the Prairie as the Ingalls family move from their house in the woods out to Kansas to try and create their own homestead, only from the perspective of Caroline, the mother. This was absolutely beautiful. I cried. I loved the way it portrayed motherhood. Seeing the way that Caroline bravely faced every obstacle that came her way left me inspired, especially in this time of uncertainty and crazy COVID stuff. I also DNF'd Uncommon Type by Tom Hanks. I got about 50% of the way through. Honestly, didn't really care to read more of the stories. They were a little bit boring to me, so I decided that I wouldn't pick it back up. And then I read the graphic novel The Fantastic Four Volume 1 by Stan Lee and Jack Kirby, and I rated this four stars. I really loved how lighthearted and fun it was, and kind of just how off the wall some of the stuff that happened was. It was really fun for me to read it, and it's probably one of my favorite comic books. Then I read The Stars We Steal by Alexa Dunn, and I rated this three stars. I follow Alexa Dunn on YouTube, and I absolutely love her channel. I will link it down below. The Stars We Steal is a persuasion by Jane Austen retelling set in space. The world building was really cool, and I really enjoyed the political intrigue that was included in the plot. I didn't love the main character. Her lack of communication causes a lot of the drama throughout the book, which is a trope that I personally don't love. The next book I read was Hope in the Mail by Wendelin Van Drenen. I rated this five stars. It was absolutely amazing. The subtext of this book is reflections on writing and life. Wendelin Van Drenen wrote the book Flipped, as well as many other novels. I have loved every novel I've read by her. I absolutely loved Hope in the Mail as well. My read aloud this month with the kids was Charlie and the Chocolate Factory by Raul Dahl. I rated this four stars. I love how crazy and off the wall some of the stuff that happens in the book is. The audiobook I listened to this month was An Echo of Things to Come by James Islington, and I rated this five stars. This is the second book in the Lycanius trilogy. It is an epic fantasy. I really loved the second book. I actually liked it more than the first. The final book I read this month was The Stolen Kingdom by Bethany Atizadeh. I don't know how to say her last name, but I do follow her on YouTube, and I love her channel as well. I will link it down below. I rated this book four stars. This is an Aladdin retelling. There is a unique magic system centered around genies that sets the plot on a very unique course from the original Aladdin story. I really enjoyed the plot and the characters in this book. It was a fast-paced, quick read, and I really loved the fairy tale elements as well. Some of the events in the book felt out of place or sudden, and I think that foreshadowing more would have helped with that. It was a very enjoyable read, and I cannot wait to read the next one. That was my reading month. Like I said, I enjoyed most of the books I read, even though it was a little bit of a slower month for me. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite book from April was. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe button. Thank you for watching my video. I will see you in the next one.